I've spent over $330 million on meta ads and driven over $1.7 billion in meta ads attributable revenue and easily tested over 10,000 unique individual meta ads. And during this time, I've developed a bulletproof testing framework that consistently produces three to five X ROAS for all the brands I work with. This is the exact testing framework that I use to scale Rafa blends from $10,000 a month to over $250,000 a month in only six months the same testing framework that I use to scale healthy soul from $60,000 a month to over $350,000 a month in five months. And also the same testing framework that I use to scale Meraki Medicinal from $200,000 a month to over $1 million a month in only three months as recent as this month. And in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to use this testing infrastructure for your ad account, for your brand, and how you can use it to find winning holy grail ads so you can consistently scale as profitably as possible in 2025. I'm going to break up this testing framework into three pillars. The first pillar being the foundation, the second pillar being the actual testing process, and the third pillar being how to actually scale these winning ads. I'm going to be going into each of these pillars individually and then I'll dive in and do an actual screen share of what a testing infrastructure looks like inside one of my brand ad accounts. So first, let's dive into the foundation. What is a testing infrastructure? What is a testing campaign? So from a high level, a testing campaign is an ad set budget campaign, meaning you're not using campaign budget optimization. The budget's actually going to be at the ad set level, and this is going to be a broad campaign only. So all my testing campaigns, they're ABO, they're broad, male, female, 18 to 65 plus. This is how you structure these testing campaigns. Then each ad set within the testing campaign is a test. And so the goal of these testing ad sets is to get definitive yeses and definitive noes on every ad that we run. The reason why this testing framework came to be is because over time with the algorithm changes, whenever you would launch a new ad within one of your existing performance campaigns, typically the new ads would never get spent because the algorithm now is heavily influenced by ads that already have history behind them. So the issue kept coming up over and over and over again Whenever we try to launch new ads in the campaigns, they stopped getting spent. You know, in the past, this wasn't the case. You could launch new ads in the campaigns and they would always get ad spend, but that is not the case anymore. And so when you have creative teams spending all this time, effort, and energy creating ads for you, and then you would launch them and they got no spend behind them, you know, that wasn't a good enough answer saying, oh, the algorithm just said they weren't worthy of spend, right? That wasn't a good answer. It's not a good way to run a business, right? And so we developed this strategy so we can get definitive yeses and definitive noes on every single ad. And so we could create a scaling system System that makes sense for both the business and both for the algorithm and your ad account. And so now that we have, you know, what is the actual testing campaign? What is the general setup? Now we want to go into like how we actually set up and structure these tests. So every test needs to have a purpose, right? And so typically all my tests, I will divvy up static ads will be in their own ad set or videos will be in their own ad set. And then we really want every ad that we're testing it together to basically be the same minus one variable, right? And so for example, if you're testing video ads, foundation of the video will all be the same but the first three seconds, the hook will all be different, right? So you could be running the same exact video, but the hooks are, you know, there's three different hooks. So you'd be running all those in one singular ad set and really run it and see what hooks do well, right? Similarly on the static ad side, you know, running two to four ads as well. And you'd have, you know, ads that are basically all the same with one variable different, right? And so the point of these testing ad sets is to test things that are very similar to one another, but also have one variable different. And then figuring out, you know, what is the determining factor, the determining element that is actually gonna turn a creative into a winner. And that's really the format of how you actually are testing inside the creative. But then you have to also determine what are the metrics that determine a winner, right? And so the metrics that I usually follow are what is the average CPA in your account, right? So if you look at the past 30 days in your ad account, what is your average CPA? And so that is going to be the goal CPA for any of your testing ads, right? If any, if something comes above that, then that's a loser. If something comes at that or below that, that is typically a winning ad. And so how much ad spend you're going to want to deploy behind each ad during a test, I typically recommend two to three times your CPA goal. So if your average CPA in your account, say is $10, 
then you'll spend anywhere from $20 to $30 total per ad in a test to determine if it's a winner or a loser. So for example, say you're running two ads in an ad set as a test, each ad gets $40 of ad spend. One of the ads gets two purchases, right? Which, which would give it a $10 CPA. The other ad gets zero purchases. And then the ad that had a $10 CPA would be a winner, right? And the ad that had zero purchases, right, would be the loser. And so then you would pause out the loser, keep the winner running, right? And so that's the general idea on how you run a test and how long you would run it for. Now let's jump into the testing process. So now that you have a, a healthy ad account, you're running a decent amount of ad spend, now you have to determine, all right, how much are we actually going to spend on testing within our ad account? So this is a very, very important question to answer and it's something that people get wrong very easily. And I've seen many ad accounts that I go into that they're spending 50% or more of their budget on testing new ads. This is not what you want to be doing. Ideally, you'll be spending 20% or less on your testing because we want to eliminate eliminate as much volatility as possible within your ad account. Because if more than 20% of your ad spend is being spent on testing, there's a high likelihood, typically not all ads, majority of ads most of the time are not winners. And so if you're spending all this budget on unproven ads, then you're going to have really inconsistent performance. You're gonna have a lot of down days, all that sort of thing. So it's super important to have an ironclad testing process where you are only spending 20% or less of your budget on testing ads ads and the 80% of your budget is spent on your performance or your evergreen campaigns. And so going deeper into that testing process is that this testing campaign is the only campaign in your ad account that actually does any testing, right? You have one testing campaign, like I mentioned, it's ABO and every ad set in that campaign is an individual test at any given moment, but the rest of your account is what I call evergreen or performance campaigns. So you can have you know, your evergreen retargeting, your evergreen advantage plus video campaign, evergreen advantage plus static campaign, you could have an interest campaign, right? And so you have these campaigns that are always on, and these are your evergreen campaigns, but only winning ads live in these campaigns. And so the point of having these performance campaigns, and so they're built upon a robust data foundation, right? And so that is really what becomes the system in your ad account. You test ads in your testing campaign, and then the winners get graduated from your testing campaign into your performance campaigns, and then the losers get paused out. And that's just the system every time you'll launch new ads in the testing, they'll either be killed or they'll be graduated. And this is just the system that's always, always, always being implemented at all times within your account. And you need to be determining as a brand as well, uh, you know, how many ads you should be testing per week, right? And so you're going to be testing at least five to 10 creatives a week, no matter how much you're spending on ads. And you're gonna to wanna to be doing this every single week. The biggest mistake I see advertisers make is that they find a winning ad and then all of a sudden they stop making new ads, right? So you need to build Build it into your systems and make and build a muscle of always be testing, always be testing. And this is just something that never ends. It's exhausting, right? You're always gonna be testing stuff, but it really is pivotal to being successful as an e-commerce brand. And last, moving into the fun part about testing, scaling. So what happens when you actually find a winning ad? What do you do? So like I mentioned, the losers get paused out and they get thrown out to the side, but the winners, the best part about them is that they can be scaled in multiple places. So the first place you're going to scale your winning ads is actually within the testing campaign. So once you find winners in there, you can scale within the testing campaign. So how I do that typically is I use my double up method. So if an ad's doing well in testing, after two to three days, I will double that budget, right? So you can double the budget in there, get to scaling pretty quickly. And then after that, you can graduate that ad into your performance campaign. So what that looks like is you'll be duplicating that ad into your Advantage Pluses, into your interests, whatever your main evergreen performance campaigns are. And so you're actually scaling these ads, not only in testing, but also in your evergreen performance campaigns. And that's the beauty of these testing campaigns that you actually have multiple places to scale your winning ads. And with this testing framework, it allows you to always, always be finding winners because you're always, always testing, right? And so if you do this right, you're gonna be finding new winners weekly. You know, and every ad is not gonna be a winner, but usually one to two will be winners. And if you just continue this process, you're gonna continually be scaling your ad account because you're gonna be continually finding winners. And now that we've wrapped up the foundation, the testing process and how to scale winners. And we're gonna dive into an ad account and I'm gonna show you what a mature testing campaign actually looks like. What's up y'all, here we are in a mature testing campaign. I just wanted to quickly go through here and just 
tell you how I use it and how I label things. And so you'll see the first field on each ad set is the creative type. So I keep videos together, like I mentioned, and statics together as well. And the next field is the test name. And so it's either the date, you know, we're launching the ads or the actual, what we're running in their testimonials. It's gonna be creators. Really it can be kind of whatever uh, you want to name the test. As you see, you even test IG posts here as well. And let's just look at the last 30 days here. And you'll see for this account specifically, I allocate about $25 a day and spend per ad. And so you'll, you know, the goal CPA is around $30, but so that's how I divvy it up. It's really up to you kind of how much you want your daily budget to be. Cause really it's like, you know, how fast you want to get answers uh, on a test. And so you'll see here, I have two ads in here, right? And that's why we have $50. Same with this one as well. It just depends. I, I think I, I cut the budget on this one just because it initially started at 75 a day and then we paused this ads and I turned it down to 50 a day to match the two ads here. And so that's typically how I divvy up the budget. But then as you'll see here, winning ads, we will scale them. And so this started, you know, at a, you know, $125 a day budget. Now we scaled it up to $400 a day. This one's $200 a day. This one's $400 a day, right? And so you can really scale up your your ads in here as well and also duplicate them to your performance campaigns and so you'll see this is the testing campaign here and then we also have performance campaigns statics videos and so that's what this testing campaign once you have a winning ad in here you not only can scale in here like we do but then you straight up just duplicate you know duplicate it into your advantage plus right so you can pick out your advantage plus so that's really the process here of how we use the uh, the testing campaigns is really we want to get definitive yeses or noes on every ad keep videos together keep statics together if you get a winning ad scale it up in here do not pause it winning ads always get scaled and do not get paused pause out the losers and that's really just that the system now you that you should go through um, in your account you know testing minimum five to ten creatives a week getting yeses or noes on ads graduating the winners pause the losers and just continuing this flow uh, you're going to be in a really good spot if you just continue to test weekly and use a testing campaign because again it gives you the opportunity to not only scale in the testing campaign but also scale in your performance campaigns and the last caveat here is that when you duplicate a, a winning ad into your performance campaigns it is not guaranteed to do well in there sometimes it doesn't i've had ads that just don't do well in the performance but they crush it in the, the testing campaign right so that's you know the beauty of having them running in both is that if they don't work in one though they're, they're still working in the other and then one last thing i want to show you here is i do not exclude audiences in testing the reason for this is we want we want to know if this ad drives people to order and so we don't care if it's a past customer we don't care if it's someone on your email list we don't care if it's someone who's engaged with you already does this ad get someone to convert? That's all we want to know. And this works great because you're, you're getting conversions pretty quickly and you can really figure out if an ad's a winner or a loser pretty quickly. And again, people might not agree with this, but again, this is how I do it and it's never proven to not, not be a great way to do it. And again, typically your performance campaigns are meant for cold traffic, completely cold traffic anyways. And again, the algorithm, we want it to find people who are gonna buy, right? And so. Really, that's all I care about is getting people to buy. If you are super focused on incrementality, meaning finding net new users, then yeah, you could exclude website visitors, engagers, your email list, your customer list if you want. But again, this is not how I do it. I don't have issues finding new net new users on the platforms. So again, I don't. I recommend don't exclude anything. Just let the algorithm find people who will buy from these ads, and that is a good indicator that that's a winning ad across the board, right? So let me know if you have any questions on this testing, hit the comments, um, you know, and, or hit me on Twitter, um, just let me know. But yeah, again, testing campaigns is so, so important to have nowadays just because the algorithm will not give your ad spend guaranteed unless you do it in a testing campaign. So there you have it. That's the exact testing framework that I use to scale brands to seven, to eight, and to nine figures both in my agency, We Are The Select, and in my coaching program, Meta Ads At Scale. And at this point, you have two options. The first option is to watch this video over and over and over again and really just try to retain all the information that I've just shared with you, but you're probably still gonna make a ton of mistakes along the way, waste a ton of time, and also waste a ton of money. And option number two, the best option, is join my coaching program, Meta Ads At Scale. It is the number one Meta Ads coaching program in the world, 
and it is the coaching program where you get to work with me directly one-on-one -on -one, where I coach you how to scale your brand profitably with meta ads within six months. And I even guarantee that we'll at least double your revenue in six months or I will personally work with you for free until we get you there. And so what comes within my coaching program? You're going to get a six month growth plan built by myself personally, the same growth plans that I build for my agency clients. You're also gonna get five one-on-one -on -one calls with me where I coach you individually on how to scale your brand to the next level. You're also going to get a dedicated client success manager who's gonna make sure you improve every single day and you're also going to get access to our exclusive Slack community where you get your personal Slack channel with myself and your client success manager. And you also get access to the greater meta ads at scale community where there's 80 plus winning brands in the program. So if you're ready to stop wasting your time, wasting your money on these costly mistakes that keep happening over and over again, and you're ready to scale your brand with meta ads, hit the link below and apply to my coaching program, Meta Ads at Scale. Myself or one of my team members will be more than happy to go deep with you on what is actually inside the program and see if you're a good fit. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.